recognize the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Posey. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And, and let's dash back to reality just for a second. Um, every year, NASA's request uh, for Orion are uh, lower than what's needed. Do you both agree with that statement? I would agree with that statement. Uh, there is a part of that statement, Congressman, that that um, I'm trying to figure out how to how to answer you better. In that, uh, the request is really the president's budget request. Yeah, and that's, that's NASA's request. The president's request is NASA's request, and vice versa. And it's always lower than the program needs. Congress always comes back and pays more. It becomes NASA. The question is, why doesn't why doesn't NASA and the administration request the amount of money they think they need? Well, I think that would be a question directly to the Office of Management and Budget, uh, because it's, it's in that budget process that the agency goes through as we build the budgets from the bottom up, from the programs, and then they get submitted, and they work within the agency priorities, and then they go over to the to the higher national level priorities, it's in that last step where, at least from my perspective, I saw where the numbers change. Well, <clears throat> the fact is, they request less year after year than they know that they need to keep the, the project on schedule. And it's a fact. I mean, it, it's, it's not a political statement. Uh, it's not a scientific statement. It, it's a fact. And Congress does, in fact, uh, always pay more. Uh, several members were, were a little bit concerned um, about a budget, how much it will cost to go to Mars, and, and you know, what the total cost will be. And, and I think that's almost a laughable question at this point, because they don't even have a plan yet. You know, in, in uh, uh, the last several NASA authorizations, Congress has mandated that NASA come up with a detailed roadmap for Mars, a stepping stone approach uh, to exploration, if you will. Uh, I believe uh, many on this committee uh, feel we've never seen a detailed plan, and, and I'd like for both of you to uh, comment on what you see as essential steps in getting humans to Mars and your thoughts on why NASA has not submitted a detailed plan to Congress as requested. Um, I've, I've actually got written testimony from 2013 that addresses that specifically, <laughs> that question specifically, but I'll, I'll go ahead. Um, I believe the front end of it is, is laying out your objectives for what you want to achieve in your exploration program uh, by destination. What is it we want to learn? How is it we want to prepare from one step to the next and, and have um, a rational approach to I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. That's what should be done. The question is, why haven't they done it? I, I can't say. I, I can't. I can't say why. Since I have left, uh, it has not been done. Actually, when why wasn't it done while you were there? Well, um, when I was there, I left in, in at the end of September in 2011. Uh, we had just gotten through the period uh, after the, the 2010 Authorization Act where we worked very diligently within exploration to um, answer that, that um, what was asked for in the Authorization Act, and we, we announced the SLS um, design and program um, the same month I, I retired. Um, that was the first step. Our, our immediate, our immediate um, uh, concern was getting the front end of this started. Um, we actually had um, a plan that we talked about uh, that after we get the first steps on the way, we're going to come back and develop the plan. And and it. All right, I got I got that. It, I, I got it. Would you care to respond, uh, Congressman? I think I, I agree with what Doug said. I think uh, part of. What needs to happen is a uh, more public discussion about some of the planning and some of the strategies uh, that need to be implemented to go to Mars and making sure we are all clear, that the stakeholders are all clear on uh, what the goals and objectives are, and then allow NASA to go put a plan together. You know, the, the, every member on this committee, bar none, both sides of the aisle, want NASA to be successful. 
I, I can give you just so many instances, though, when, at least from this perspective, they're their own worst enemy. I, I, if, if they can't come up with a plan, they want somebody else to do it. I, if it takes more funding for a plan, but, you know, you have to have a plan, actually, before you do a budget. I mean, you, you can see, I hope, uh, the negative effects of building a development schedule around a budget rather than letting the most logical schedule dictate the financial needs. And it, it appears that is, is what's happening. And, and, Mr. Chairman, I don't know how we, how we, how we reel this thing in, but uh, it's just not something that, that I'm proud of, of the way it's being done. And, and uh, I see them over my time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Posey. Uh, you know, I would